Dr. Christopher Lawrence here again with our series of the journey down the spine and today we are on the seventh cervical or C7 that's at the base of the neck let's go ahead and push the buttons on this one and see what lights up now look at this once again the arms the shoulder upper arm uh, lower arm forearm hands fingers can all be affected and so a patient that comes in with neck pain or arm symptoms whether it be numbness tingling or pain we do look at the base of the neck and uh, obviously the the lung the, the trachea the bronchi the lungs are all supplied by this this area of the seventh cervical so a patient may have a subluxation in C7 and ex be experiencing the shoulder and arm symptoms as well as maybe some difficulties in their respiration or breathing so some of that clears up sometimes with an adjustment of C7 so once again from the Merck chart the areas that are supplied by C7 are the thyroid gland the bursa in the shoulders and elbows some of the effects from a subluxated or misaligned seventh cervical would be a bursitis colds and thyroid conditions I hope that was informative for you. You can reach me at lawrencecairo.net and see these videos there. You can, if you have questions, you can always call 760-247-9400. Have a good day. Thank you.